when Uber's practices of conducting business are in violation of local regulations, what do they do? They mount campaigns supported by a small army of lobbyists to outmaneuver the authorities until they get enough political support to get approval for their illegal business practices. And just a few weeks ago, customers began to delete the Uber app from their phones during travel ban protests. Obviously, you know, today's action is about what's happening in Saudi Arabia. $3.5 billion buys a seat on the board of directors here at Uber. Now what happens in this situation? It's not that just Saudi Arabia doesn't allow women to drive. That realize benefits Uber because there's a reliance on the system, which is the infrastructure that's provided by Uber. You see, it's, it's bigger and deeper and eviler than what you think. We're here today to say no to any corporation that is um, profiting from the exploitation of any group of people, but today the, the women of Saudi Arabia. But we are united today to say to Uber, we will not support you, Uber, and we will encourage others in our communities not to support you and not to use your services as long as you continue to profit from uh, the human rights violations of women in Saudi Arabia and women anywhere on the planet. We hear all kinds of things in our mainstream media regarding globalization. They rarely talk about the globalization of issues to protect workers from the predatory practices of major multinational corporations. Here's what it says. It says, Dear Uber CEO Travis Kalanick, we the undersigned are appalled by the partnership that is developed between Uber and the government of Saudi Arabia, the only country in the world where women are not allowed to drive. Saudi women have been fighting for decades for this basic right that women have all over the world. They have gathered petitions, they have solicited the king, they have conducted acts of civil disobedience, and they have gone to prison for this. Uber should not be on the side of their oppressors, but should be supporting the brave Saudi women. Yes. As CEO, we call on you to release a statement in English and Arabic urging King Salman of Saudi Arabia to lift the ban on women driving. Let him know. Let him know you are eager to hire women also as drivers for Uber in Saudi Arabia, as you currently do in over 60 countries worldwide. Do the right thing, Mr. Kalanick. Stand with Saudi women and advocate for Saudi women to have the right to drive. Yes! Yes! Hi. We're supposed to meet. I don't have a dad, but we have a, a meeting with Travis Kalanick, the CEO of Uber to accept our petition. Uh, yeah, it, is that right? Well, can you call uh, uh, his office? I don't have a number. All we want to do is present our petition to the uh, to the CEO. Please, if Travis can't come down here, we can also speak with Jill Hazelbaker. Jill uh, Hazelbaker is the, is the spokesperson. Nikita, if you could call Jill Hazelbaker and have, tell, let her know we're here. Can you step uh, back here? Yeah, I'm sorry, you have to step back. I'm sorry, she won't be able to see it. Too. Sure about yeah, I'm Betsy Masiello. Yeah, Betsy Masiello is communication and public policy. None of those no people that you're asking for will be able to see you. Well, how do you know that? You haven't tried them yet. Any of the No, sir. You need to go to 950 John Daly Boulevard. That's where we take inquiries. That's driver support. Can you? If you know business, you know that's driver support. HQ is right here. Dorothy Chow. Let us in. Let us in. Listen to that. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you an Uber executive? Let Michael in. Just let one person in. Could you at least accept the petitions and take them upstairs? There were a lot of people that took time in their lives to let Uber know how they feel. You can't accept that and deliver it to Uber? That's what de how democracy works, is to really hear each other's voices. And we can't even deliver some petitions to Uber? What kind of a company is it?
We're going to use this another time. All it's right. over 4,000 people who want Uber to ask the Saudi government to allow women to drive. It's the only country in the world where women are not allowed to drive and Uber needs to use their influence to make that happen in Saudi Arabia. Uh, We're at the Uber headquarters here. And they're not allowing anybody to go upstairs to deliver these petitions, so we'll use them another time. Thank you.